A woman fighting cancer says she's now cured of it thanks to the measles virus. Nine on your side anchor Carol Williams breaks down how it works and why more cancer patients could soon be cured, really, using similar treatments, Carol? I know, and you know, Tanya, it sounds counterintuitive, intuitive, yeah. really, to kill one disease with a potentially dangerous virus, but I talked with a UC researcher about how it works. My phone has exploded today. For 10 years, Stacy Erholtz battled multiple myeloma, an incurable blood cancer. She was out of options last summer when the Mayo Clinic chose her for an experimental procedure where they injected her with a huge amount of the measles virus. Afterwards, I found out it was enough vaccination to inoculate 10 million people. The treatment lasted 40 minutes. The only side effects, a painful headache and fever. Both disappeared quickly and so did her cancer. I had a plasma cytoma right here on my forehead, the size of a golf ball, and within 36 hours it was gone. Well, I think this is exciting. Dr. John Morris is director of experimental therapeutics at the UC Cancer Institute. He says virotherapy is not new, but is making a comeback. These uh, viruses go in. They infect the cell, they make more copies of themselves, and then burst the cell, and that's how they kill the cancer. I asked him how this happens without harming normal tissues. Turns out that viruses are very selective of the cells they go into. So certain viruses will only infect certain cells in your body. Dr. Morris predicts more and more use of virotherapy in the future. In the meantime, the recovery of Stacey Erholtz provides hope for everyone battling cancer. It's the way of the future, and I'm, I'm so excited for other people to experience this. Now, Dr. Morris says there are risks to virotherapy with the measles virus, the risk of a runaway virus infection, for instance, and he says the measles virus would probably only work with blood cancers, but he says this is an exciting possibility for the future. Imagine that shrinking a golf-sized tumor in 36 hours.